Okay, now that we finished the routine, can I just be honest with you guys? I lied. <laughs> Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. Also, make sure you guys check out my new podcast, Just a Position, where I talk about mental health and vulnerability, featuring some of your favorite creators online. We have some really intense conversations over there, so make sure you stream it wherever you listen to your podcasts. So let's not beat around the bush. Skincare is an investment, and it can be a really pricey one at that. Skincare can be pricey AF. And as much as I personally love spending an absolutely outrageous amount of money on skincare products, not everyone has the same level of unhealthy addiction as I do. Buying skincare products just adds up. There's no way around it. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, Hiram, I I don't have the money to spend $45 on a single skincare product. Trust me, I have been there. When I first started getting into skincare, spending $10 on a single skincare product was like, oh, what am I doing? I felt like I was throwing my money away. And I get it. You might be someone who's tired of scrolling through social media content and seeing every single product be $30, $40, $50, etc., etc. You know what I mean? And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a skincare routine that covers all the bases, gets you everything you need for a good skincare routine, all for just $50. That was supposed to be French. It sounded like an American trying to sound French. A simple, no bullshit skincare routine that covers all your bases when it comes to preventing skin damage and keeping that skin glowy. So let's get into it. Now, let me just preface this by saying that is this the most luxurious, treat yourself grandiose skincare routine? Fuck no. I'm not gonna exaggerate. Like I said before, it's a simple routine, but I did work really hard for this video to find good quality products that have really amazing ingredients and not just, you know, putting a list together of the cheapest products I could find. These products are really awesome and some of my personal favorites that all fit within a $50 budget. So if you're wanting to save some money on your routine or times are a little bit tough right now, or if you're someone who's just brand new to skincare and wants to find a really simple routine to start out with, I got you. Step one, if you are someone who wears makeup or wears sunscreen, which should be everybody watching this video, sunscreen is a must. If you're someone who likes to do a full beat face of makeup or you wear a little bit of foundation or you wear your sunscreen throughout the day, you should be going in with a first cleanse, making sure you're clearing the path to go in with a cleanser afterwards to make sure you're getting all the shit out of your skin. Because if you're not properly removing your makeup or sunscreen and then you're trying to pile on a bunch of products afterwards, they're just not going to be very effective. I mean, think about it. How can anything penetrate your skin when there's a layer of sludge across it? Not so going in with a good first cleanse product is absolutely necessary to make sure that you're getting the most bang for your buck with the rest of your products. For a good affordable makeup remover, I personally recommend the Garnier Unscented Micellar Cleansing Water. This one is a great simple drugstore product that just gets the job done, removes all the makeup, removes all the sunscreen without posing the risk of sensitizing your skin. It's a very simple formula. Micellar waters are really great because they're very gentle on the skin. They tend to be not very stripping. And this one is a great example of that. And if you're someone who's like, Hiram, how am I supposed to apply this product to my skin? I don't even know where to begin. No worries, my friend. You don't need any fancy towelettes or the applicator products, I don't know, whatever the fancy things are called. You can go right on over to Dollar Tree and get these reusable makeup removers. They're super nice because one side is soft, the other side has a little bit of exfoliation power if you need to really get through that makeup. After you're done with them, you just throw them in the washer and they're good as new. And you can get a three pack of these for only $1. I tried looking on Amazon, but all of them started at around $7. Honestly, if you're really wanting to save money, just go to Dollar Tree and get these. They're super nice to use. I actually talked about these in my Dollar Tree review video. If you wanna see what my thoughts were on the products, you can go watch that video. I'll have it linked in the description box below. Oh, also all the products that I'm mentioning in today's video are linked in the description box below. If you do want to do some shopping and you want to support this channel, I really recommend checking out those links, but no pressure as always. They're just there as a resource and if you want to support the channel. But honestly, if you don't have a lot of money to spend on your routine, just go to your mom's towel cabinet, find like a face towel or just the softest towel you can find, steal it. And if she asks, just tell her Hiram told you to do so. I'll talk to her later about it. Don't worry. Next step is cleanser. And you might be thinking, Hiram, I already went in with a makeup remover. Why do I need to go in with another cleanser? A makeup remover does a good job of clearing all the extra extra makeup, sunscreen, piled up dirt and sweat that's on the surface of your skin, but a water-based cleanser does an amazing job of clearing out all the gunk that's in the pores because a lot can really seep into your pores throughout the day. And like I said before, if you're not properly cleansing, then the rest of your products aren't gonna be effective and you don't wanna waste all that extra money on these good products just for them to not work. I mean, that's a waste of money, which kind of defeats the purpose of this video. And I did not make this video for nothing. So listen up, a really good water-based cleanser that I recommend is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Nourishing Oak Cleanser. I fell in love with this one a while ago because it does such a good job of gently cleansing the skin while still properly removing as much as it needs to and not stripping your moisture barrier. I personally have combination to oily skin and this cleanser has worked so well for me regardless of when my skin is dry or when it's oily. Whatever it's going through, this one does a really good job and lasts a good amount of time because it's a good size. Plus it's amazing for sensitive skin. Oh, that's something I should mention. All the products that I'm mentioning in today's video are fragrance free and really good if you do have sensitive skin. I wanted to make sure that even though all these products fit in a $50 skincare routine that it does not exclude all 
all of you sensitive skin babes. I see you and I appreciate you. Like I said, this one's gentle and effective and works really well alongside a good makeup remover. Highly, highly recommend. For the third product, we gotta have a good treatment. Every good skincare routine needs a good effective treatment that'll work to prevent long-term damage, get rid of any skin damage you're currently experiencing, whether it be dark spots or aging, breakouts, flaky skin, you name it. And while one product is not going to be a miracle product in treating all these concerns, I would highly recommend going in with an overnight exfoliating treatment a few times a week. I personally recommend the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment because it has a good blend of exfoliating ingredients that will not only work on the top layer of your skin, but also go deep into your pores and exfoliate all that shit out. Good Molecules has a lot of really great affordable products and this product specifically will really give you a lot of bang for your buck, but it can only be used overnight and do not overuse it. I repeat, do not overuse it. You should only be exfoliating a few times a week. This is not a product to use every single night. So be careful, be cautious. Don't use it during the day. Feel free to integrate it into your nighttime routine to get those really good results. Next up, moisturizer. Everybody needs a good moisturizer in their routine. I've seen way too many routines where I've ended the video and asked the inevitable question, but where's the moisturizer? You need a moisturizer. And you might be someone who's like, Hiram, I have oily skin. My skin is greasy. Do I really need a moisturizer? Yes, end of story. <laughs> no, but seriously, our skin goes through a lot of shit every single day, which causes a lot of damage to your moisture barrier and can increase things like aging, dryness, and so many other issues. I won't list out all of them. But whether you use your moisturizer in the daytime, in the nighttime, or ideally both, using a good moisturizer can be really beneficial for helping to prevent those problems. One that I've recently fallen in love with that has a great price point is the Inculus Omega Water Cream. I have used this in dry climates, I've used this in oily climates, and I feel like it's a really good moisturizer that performs well regardless if you have oily skin or dry dry skin. It's a simple but powerful ingredient list in a consistency that's very lightweight but still hydrating and nourishing to the skin and can be used as both your daytime moisturizer and your nighttime moisturizer. Whatever you feel is best for your skin, this one's a great product to try. And the final step, which will come as no surprise if you have seen literally any video on my YouTube channel, sunscreen! Oh, don't touch my face. <laughs> Every time I touch my face in one of my videos, you guys yell at me in the comments section, so I'm trying to avoid it. Sunscreen is a must in every single skincare routine. I really don't have to repeat this very often, but honestly, I would so much rather you use a sunscreen and abandon all the other products than to not use a sunscreen at all. It's just that important. There's really nothing more for me to say. And I'm gonna be honest, bitch, this is the most difficult type of product to find at an affordable cost because making a sunscreen is just freaking expensive. It is not cheap. And even if you manage to find a good affordable sunscreen, a lot of times they feel like shit on the skin. They are not pleasant or enjoyable at all. But if you watch my recent best sunscreens video, I'll have it linked down below if you do wanna check it out. I talked about one sunscreen that really impressed me for how good the price point was. The Native Unscented Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide. This one has a great formula that doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. It's still moisturizing, but with a minimal white cast, especially for a product at this price point, I was very impressed by how minimal the white cast is. It performs well. It gets you that daily protection from the sun. It's a simple but really good ingredient list that focuses on not only protecting your skin from the sun, but also really nourishing it as well. And it's a mineral formula, which is my favorite because it's really good for anyone who has sensitive or irritated skin. It's one of my top ones I've discovered this year. And like I've always said when it comes to sunscreen, that is the one product that you should splurge on. If there's a product to spend the most money on, it is definitely a sunscreen. Okay, now that we finished the routine, can I just be honest with you guys? I lied. This routine is not $50. It's 51. I'm sorry, don't crucify me. I know it's $1 over. If that is over your limit, I apologize. I really tried to keep it at $50 exactly, but it meant sacrificing the moisturizer, which was just not worth it to me because the moisturizer is so good. So I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I wasn't fully honest. If you need an apology video, I can totally make one. It's it's totally fun. But yes, that is the $51 skincare routine <laughs> that I've been so excited to share with you guys. I've always believed that skincare should be accessible to everyone regardless of price point. And I hope if anything that this routine showed you that you can have a skincare routine with really good and powerful ingredients without breaking the bank. I know at times it can be really tricky trying to carve out extra money in order to spend on a skincare routine. And you know, I've been there when you just don't have extra money to spend. But the fact that you're making an effort and you're watching this video shows that you are prioritizing taking care of your skin, taking care of your health, and I just want to say I am so proud of you for doing that. It took me way too long to start a skincare routine just because I always thought it was way too out of reach. So the fact that you're putting in this effort is honestly really commendable and I hope that you remember that you can always take care of your skin and focus on self-care no matter the price point. What do you guys think of this routine? Do you have any other recommendations? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Like I said before, all the products that I've talked about in today's video are listed in the description box below. I hope watching this video has made skincare feel a little bit less intimidating and hopefully more in reach. And if you guys haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.